here's how you can easily stretch text in Kittle. I can already hear some of the font and type designers and community college graphic design teachers saying that you should never stretch text. But some of my personal favorite designs have come from stretching some fonts to fill space in some really unique ways. And you might even find it helpful when you're hitting roadblocks when designing yourself. So let's jump into it. So I've got just this 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 canvas here, just a random photo and some text. Uh, looks like there's some sort of a sale for like maybe a small business clothing shop. And this isn't looking too bad already, but I know that I don't have anything else to fill this space. And if I just want to fill this white space here, one of the things that I consider doing is just distorting this text. So if I click on my text right here, down in my transformation panel, there's gonna be an option called distort. We wanna click on that. And then it's gonna bring up these anchor points. And if I move these anchor points around, this is gonna give me the ability to distort this text as well as these uh, arms right here can control the, the distance at which this effect is being applied to the text as well. So I'm just gonna undo all of that. And let's just say I want to stretch this directly up and down. If you hold shift, it's gonna help not give you that immediate wiggle room left and right and ensure that your text is staying straight up and down. And so I'm just gonna drag this down to about right here. And then I'm gonna drag my center point down here as well until it's straight. And then this on the left as well until that is straight. And so now I've stretched my text to fill this space and it, it grabs a little bit more attention. I like the way that this looks. It is kind of a personal taste thing, uh, but we can also try some other things with this space as well. Let's say I wanted to put like a script font in here just to catch people's attention. I could put this script font right here and if I wanted to kind of like stretch it to fill this space because the script font is cool but it's not really filling a lot of space right now, I could click distort and then I could drag these anchor points around until it fills the space like I want. And let's say I want this to curve up a little bit more like that, that's starting to look good. And then I have this touching my O so I might go into effects put an outline around it. And so we have like a nice little cutout on the O that just force perspective dynamic a little bit there. But that is how I would stretch text in this particular situation. I've also used this effect a lot when video editing to put text on the screen that fills the whole frame of the video. And so for example, I have this text right here. It just says, welcome. This is in Poppins, extra bold and I'm just gonna drag this up, click our distort effect, and then drag this down until all my anchors are in line with each other. And then I'll grab the left one as well. And now we have text that fills the whole screen. This opens up a lot of possibilities with fonts and different designs. It's definitely kind of a very niche, quirky design thing to master that you can put in your tool belt when you're creating different things going forward. This font effect has just been extremely helpful for me when I'm creating things like posters. It just really helps fill space when you're doing any sort of design where you're trying to not really have a lot of white space, things are compartmentalized, and then you have this text that you really love the font, you really love the weight of the font but it's just ever so slightly not tall enough don't be afraid to stretch that font just a little bit to fill your space and I think you'll find that it makes your designs quickly very unique as well well that's all for this video go give it a go go stretch your fonts out and see how they look play around with trying to fill different types of space with text using that distort tool if you haven't tried Kittle yet we have a promo code for you in the description hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and as always happy designing and we will see you in the next one